Hi, this is Poynton's 2, and this is my latest of my crossbow work. As you can see here, my arrow, whatever you want to call it, is a piece of half-inch CPVC. And using the methods for building a PVC bow, heat, and I used a little form that I created out of wood, I created a way of capturing a three inch nail and uh, carved in a couple of knocks for the uh, black theraband. So it's all mounted, it's okay. Um, I've got a completely new trigger mechanism. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if you can try. No, I guess not. I'll have to take my word for it. But in in this block, about where this mark is, there's a quarter inch pin that goes up through a hole in the PVC. And when I pull this closed, like a caulking gun, it's spring loaded up, and when I pull it closed, I pull it down and away from the PVC. So the next time I turn on the camera, you're going to see a shot into a piece of plywood. Okay, I'm back again. I wasn't able to get the uh, actual shot, but I have the results. You can see here, I've marked the arrow it's upside down, if you can see it. It's 572 grains. Here's a piece of uh, nominal three-quarter inch plywood. It went through, as you can see, here's the point, and basically uh, destroyed the uh, arrow. So, uh, well, incidentally, this is the uh, holding uh, hole that the pin goes through, and uh, it's a very simple trigger mechanism. It's, it's very smooth, and it's almost a hair trigger because the pin only goes the thickness of the PVC. Uh, I've got a few ideas on how to make this better. Uh, I don't think it's too bad for the first shot. To, hammer a nail through a piece of three-quarter inch plywood. Boyton Stew, thanks for watching.